Hi everyone. Hello, Miss Fatima here. This is a recorded message for year two. So hello Oxford, hello Windsor. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, so basically uh, during the week I'll be seeing you twice through a recorded video like this one um, and I will also be, be seeing you through a live video which I'm really excited about. I'm looking forward to seeing you all live and talking to you online. Um, and uh, so yeah, um, uh, the, 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 basically the aim of both the recorded and the live videos is to, um, to be learning our phonics and reading to accelerate through our phonics and reading, um, which you will know in more detail as the video progresses. Um, and uh, reading is also very, very important. Um, through during um, at the um, during the video at, at some point, I'll be showing you this website, and I'm just showing it to you again because I want you to go to this website, Oxford Owl. Uh, go to class login with this username um, Harvest and password Reading. Uh, that's your class login. And I want you to read a uh, book band. When once you're in, once you're logged in, look for book band uh, for year two. I want you to look for book band two and two plus, basically, book band two and two plus. Okay, that would be your level. Um, if you think it's too easy, I just want you to keep reading books of that level. Read lots and lots of them. And when we meet live, I'll be, I'll be checking on your fluency. I'll be checking how you're reading, how fluent and proficient you are before I move you up to the next level. But for now, year two, I want you to start with level two and level two plus. And, and not anything more. If you think level two or two plus is too high for you, um, please go down to level level one plus. I am more than happy for you to go there. But don't push yourself too high. Uh, we need to take our time taking the steps bit by bit, okay? So carry on reading and I'll be seeing you during our live session, okay? And enjoy the recorded session. Before our lesson, um, there's just some housekeeping rules that I want to go through for the session to be successful today. Now, what do I mean by housekeeping rules? Now, housekeeping rules, um, this is a term that you can use when you're at home, when you're at school, uh, basically just to remind the children or, or the people watching that there are certain things they have to do for the session to be successful. So, housekeeping rules, remember that term, yeah? So today, for our housekeeping rules, in order that our session is successful, um, I want you all not to have any distractions around you. So not to have any toys around you, any things that might distract your session. Um, I want you to be sitting nice and tall, backs nice and straight, um, and I want you to be sitting comfortably. Um, and uh, basically, uh, if you are hungry, just make sure you go and eat before you start listening to this session. Um, I don't want you to be eating during the session because that might just distract you. I want you to be fully concentrated. Um, if you've got a chewing gum, please get rid of it. And um, yes, so uh, those are our housekeeping rules for our sessions. Um, I need you to have a pen and a notebook for your session, um, a notebook or a copy book. Um, I need a pen and a notebook. Um, any any notebook would do. Um, I've, I've got my notebook. A notebook is just a, a, a book that you can write on, basically. Um, and, and a pen, please. So a pen and a notebook, please. Um, because we'll be writing things during the session. Um, and one more important thing for our session is um, I need you to have a partner. Now, what are we going to do about this? You are um, not in class. I think some of you will have your siblings with you during the session, uh, your brother or sister. But majority, uh, most of you will not have a brother in, or, or a sister in a class. So you may be sitting there on your own 
and um and um and you're not in class you're at home you're watching this recorded video at home but i still need you to have a partner that you can talk to during the session so what are we going to do about this that's right you can find any partner in the house it doesn't have to be a real person um it can be your mummy or daddy or it can be a toy, it can be a cuddly toy. Um, if you have a cuddly toy, they can be your partner during the session. Just make sure they're sitting next to you, nice and quiet, very politely, because I'll be telling you to talk to your partner. Remember, we used to do this in class a lot. Turn and talk to your partner. Turn and talk to your partner. Um, or oh, turn to your partner and say so-and-so. It's very important, partner talk. Um, so you can have anything for a partner, either a, a soft toy. If you haven't got a soft toy, it can be any type of toy, a spider if you want. Uh, you can have a fluffy thing as a partner, it's up to you. Uh, you can have a star for a partner. Um, or you can have a shell, a nice seashell for a partner. But whatever you do... Don't have a chocolate for a partner. Because if you have a chocolate for a partner, what are you going to do to it? You're going to eat it. So no chocolate for a partner. Good. So partner's talking. Sorted. Now I have a partner. Some of you have seen my partner. So some of you haven't. He's a very, very cool guy. Um, and he is very fr friendly too. He likes... He likes he likes you all. He likes all children. And he's very good at telling stories as well. Um, his name's Badger. Uh, Badger! Yes? Say hello, Badger. Hello, children. Right, okay. So, you're just going to have to sit there quietly. And just on, only come when I call you for assistance, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Badger. Now you may go and sit there nicely. Okay. There. Badger just stays there nicely. No distraction. Okay? Thank you, Badger. So, that's my partner. You find a partner. And um, now in this recorded session, we'll be going through three things. The first part of this session is the housekeeping that we've just been through, the introduction, that's part number one. The second part of this recorded video is um, is the main part, and that's the reading and phonics, yeah? Um, and the third part is a story, yeah? So we'll have three parts to our recorded sessions. The housekeeping, introduction and housekeeping, um, reading and phonics, um, and a story part. So now we're swiftly going to move on to our second part of of this recorded session and that's the reading and phonics now oh perhaps i should say phonics and reading yeah because children learn phonics before they are able to read now i i know a lot of you can read um and a lot of you can read very beautifully um but i just as i mentioned in a video before um it's it's very very important that we can read um um correctly with the correct pronunciation and the correct sounding of letters um and uh, and yeah so what what is phonics phonics is basically a way of teaching children how to read um how to read and write effectively how to become proficient um and fluent readers yeah, and to read like a storyteller, not not just like decoding. So if you if you're going to tell a story, um, um, for example, there was there was once there was once a bird who lived high up on a tree, way up high. I told you that story as a storyteller. There was once a bird who lived way up high on top of a tree 
But if you're just going to read it as a decoding, in a decoding way, you would say, there was once a bird who lived at a, at the top of a tree way up high. Doesn't sound very beautiful, does it? No. But if you, but better to read it as a storyteller, like I said before. So that's, that's why we'll be teaching you, um, during these sessions. Um, and so now, um, I will be going through the sounds. Um, the sounds are basically the alphabets. Uh, it's better that we refer to them as sounds. They are letters, but they make sounds. And it's the sounds that help us read correctly. Okay, so for today, I'm just going to look through my script. And uh, yes, we've recapped two. Now, I will be using a, set, a, a certain set of sounds each week. Um, and uh, just a second, please. Yeah, so as I was saying, I'll be using a set of sounds each week plus some phonics books to help me um, to help with the to help me teach you these sounds effectively. Um, and I have here, I'm just going to show you the books that I'll be using. Um, they are from Oxford Reading Tree. They are very good books. Um, and uh, they start from book number one. Um, and they go all the way to book number 36, yeah? So they'll take you through all the stages, basically, um, inshallah. So, yeah, and so this week I'll start with two books. These two books, book number one and book number two, they will have two sets of sounds, okay? S -a -t -p. and we have I -n -m -d. we will go through these um, in more detail now um, I've written them in separate cards just to make it easy for you so let's look at the cards this is the first set yeah so I'm going to say the sounds first <clears throat> and I just want you to Listen, yeah. And sit, are you all sitting comfortably? Sitting nice and tall, backs nice and straight. Okay, no distractions around us. <clears throat> we have a t s p. I'm just going to say these again. This time I want you to repeat after me. Ah. T. T. S. P. Some of you make the mistake of making the sound go very far. So this is, some of you say per. This is not per, it's p. p. Okay? And this is not ah. Some of you say ah. That's incorrect. This is ah. And this is not t. It's t. 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 And this is s. S. It's not sa. Sa is wrong. Okay? Now get your, you're gonna this time you're going to read it. I'm going to do my turn, your turn. P. Ah. T. S. Now. Okay, now I'm going to go through the, I'm going to scribble them up and I want you to just say them very quickly as soon as the card turns.
What's it gonna be? Very good. You're very good at your speed sounds. Turn to your partner and say, I have learnt my speed. I say, I have learnt my speed sounds. Very good. Thank you, Badger. I'm now quickly going to go through the first book because the first book has got these sounds that we've just looked at. So, book number one. Yeah? So I'm going to point at the sound and I want you to read it. Very good. Very good sounding. Now. Okay. At. What do we have here? Can you see? Or maybe I should move this way. Might be more comfortable for me. Yeah, can you see? What do we see here? What are these people? Where are, where are these people? We have a group of people and they are at the... I can hear some of you shouting there saying beach that's right they're all at the beach and what do we have at the beach there S sun that's right there's a sun what else do you see in the picture can you see what she's wearing in her feet she's wearing sandals that's right Yeah. And what she what is she wearing on her head? She's wearing a sun hat. Turn to your partner and say sun hat. Good. And what do you see over there at the far end? What's that blue liquid? That's the sea. That's right. Because they're at the beach. You need to see some sea at the beach, right? And what do you have at the beach? You have sea and... What's this matter here? This white stuff on the ground. Is there... Sand. That's right. So, what else do you see in the picture? He is wearing what? Socks. That's right. That begins with a s as well. Can you see what she's wearing? What's that yellow thing the girl's wearing? S s skirt. That's right. How about... What else do you see? Do you see a... Uh, Spade. Where's a spade? Can you spot the spade? There's a red spade there. That's right. That tool there for shifting the sand. It's called a spade. Yeah. Turn to your partner and say a spade is for playing with the sand. A spade is for playing with the sand. Say that same thing to your partner. A spade is, a, is for playing with the sand. That's right. Badger, you need to sit there so I can see you more clearly. Okay. Thank you, Badger. You're such a good partner. Thank you. Okay. Can you also see some... <gasps> What's that big thing that they've built in there? It's a... S sand castle. That's right. Um, and can you see some stripes? Can you see some stripes? S stripes. Look at his shirt. He's wearing a stripey shirt. Stripe means lines. Yeah. His shirt is lined. And can you see people? Can you see anyone with a nice smile? Look, 
She's got a nice smile. Okay? And they are all at the seaside. That's right. This place is, is either the beach or seaside. Yeah? Do you like going to the seaside? Me too. Turn to your partner and say, I like going to the seaside. Good. Okay. Now, that was a s. Now, let's move on to the next sound. And that is a. Ah. That's the capital and that's the small. Ah, ah, for apple. I can see some of you shouting the answer. Thank you. Ah, for apple. Now, what's happening in this picture? What is going on? I can see lots of people. Yeah, where are they? They are at some sort of market, I think with different stalls. Some people are selling things. Some people are playing games. It, I think it looks like a fairground. I'm sorry, I thought it was a market. I think it's a fairground. Where it's a fairground is a, like a fun fair place, yeah? Where you go to play games and buy lots of delicious food, yeah? And, and go on rides as well. Do you like going on rides? Yeah, I don't like going on rides. I get scared. Yeah, if you like going on rides, say, turn to your partner and say, I like going on rides. Good. Now, what, what do we see here that begins with a, either begins or has a sound ah in it? Okay, let's have a look. What's that le a lovely lady wearing? She's wearing an orange kind of jacket with a hood that kind of jacket is called a, a anorak anorak yeah can you say anorak yeah now an anorak is a type of jacket that is thick it's probably got some fur inside it and it's most often it's got a hood so she's wearing an anorak it's Another word for a coat, basically. Um, and what does she have in her hand? She's got a cat. cat. Look, the word cat has got the sound a ah in the middle. Okay, what else? Oh, that man at the back there, he's wearing a hat. hat. That's right. And he... Who is he? He is d a d dad. Okay, so they're all at the fun fair having fun. So the yeah, so we are now doing the second sound. We've done s, s and now we're doing a s a. What are the things you can see that begin or have the sound a in them? Just look at that picture. What else do you see? Can you see animals? Animals. Look, I can see teddy bears. I can see a little cat. Um, I can see a snake. So all sorts of different animals. And they all begin with that's right. Um, and what's dad getting out of his wallet? Have a look. He's getting ash, cash. What is cash? Money, yeah? He's getting some cash out of his wallet to buy something. And we've talked about a cap. And we can see a man. And what's the man doing? He's got his ha, a, n, out, hand, and that's got the sound a. Okay, let's move on to the next sound now. And we have t. We've got the sound t. That's right. Now, what is going on? What's this picture? Where are these children at? And what are they doing? Yeah? 
Are they at the seaside? No, no, no. Oh, Badger thinks they are not. Are they at the... Are they at school in a classroom? No, no, no. Oh, no, they're not. Are they at a football pitch? Yes, yes. Ah, Badger thinks they're at a football pitch. Do you agree with Badger? Yes, they are at a football pitch. Now, we've got... T that's our next sound here. And let's see what's happening at the football pitch. First thing we see there, the ball is going in a net. net. Yeah, <clears throat> so t Teddy. And the children, they're wearing, what are, we, are they wearing in their feet? They're all wearing boots. That's right. Boots. Boots are the, ty the, the type of shoes they're wearing. It's a type of shoe, basically. Okay? And the children, the girls, it's a, it's a girls versus boy team, I think. And they're all wearing sh shorts. Short trousers, basically. Okay? And that, that's been kicked up in the air, is a... That round thing is a football it's got a t in the middle football yeah and so t okay what other things can you see in the picture that has got the sound t in them look she's smiling and she's showing her t teeth yeah have you got clean teeth yeah? Do you brush morning and night? That's good. Turn to your partner and say, I've got clean teeth. Good. Teeth. Oh, and look. Trainers. And basically, it's another word for boots or shoes. They're all wearing trainers. Yeah? And she's got a ponytail. Yeah? When... Some girls, sometimes when, when they uh, comb their hair, they put their hair at the back and it's dangling. And that type of hair is called a ponytail. Okay? And is there anyone who's wearing a stripey shirt? Stripes. Striped. Striped. Okay? What else do we see? Trousers. Can you see anybody wearing trousers? Yes, I can see some of you shouting there. He's wearing trousers and he's wearing trousers. That's right. Okay. Um, and the last sound from this book is a p. p. Okay. Now, let's look at some words that have got the sound we have got pat, okay? When you pat something is like almost doing that, okay? Pat, uh, sat. So these are some of the older sounds basically. Um, and we've got tap. Again, um, tap is when you tap on something. Um, so let's see what's happening. Where are, where is this picture, first of all? Where are the children in this picture? Yeah? If you think they're all in the kitchen, give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah? That's just a way of saying, well done. Give yourself a pat on the back if you think they're in the kitchen. And, uh, so we, what do we see in this frame here? We see a picture what else do you see p p pot pot is a cookery tool cooking uh utensil base it's a yeah it's for cooking a pot is for cooking stews and things like that and you can also see a p pan if you want to fry eggs or pancake 
you fry them in a pan. And who do we see here? This boy, his name is Chip. He's got a P in his name. Okay. What else do we see in this picture? Do you see a P pear? Look closely in the fruit bowl. Look. Pear. It's a lovely green pear. Do you also see a plate? Look, there's some plates. Yeah? And um, do you see a... Do you see some grapes? Grapes. Look, lovely green grapes. Can you see them there in the fruit bowl? Grapes. Yeah? And uh, do you also see <clears throat> a spoon? S spoon. It's got a p in the middle. Spoon. She's banging the pot, making lots of noise. Yeah. So that's the end of, our, of the four sounds from this book. Huh? We've done these sounds. S -a -t -p. Now I want you to get your pen and paper because we'll be writing these. Okay, <clears throat> I just want to show you the correct way of writing them. Okay, so first we're going to write the sound s. How do you write s? You have to start at the top. You go round and round, down again and stop. Yeah, so let's do that again. Let's do it again. On your piece of paper, go we go round and down and round back again. S okay? If you've done a s, give yourself a tick. Let's go to move on to the next sound. Okay? The next sound is a. Ah. Now, how do we write a? Ah? Watch. Look at the way I'm writing. Yeah? We start from the top. You go round and down. You go up there and flick. Okay, let me do that again, just so that you see what I've done on your pieces of paper. You start at the top, you go round and up and down again and flick. Yeah, do ah, it's a small ah, okay? Write it in your piece of paper and then give yourself a tick. We're going to move on to the next sound. This time, we're going to write the sound t. Okay? So, watch the way I do. We go down and flick. And then the middle part. Okay? Did you see the way I did it? Yeah? Down and flick. And across. Okay? If you've done that on your piece of paper, just give yourself a tick. If this recording is going too fast for you, remember you can pause, okay? Remember you can pause, just in case if I'm going too fast. Okay, I'm just going to rub it off to move on to the last sound of this book. And that's the sound P. Now look carefully at how I, write, I, how I move the pen. Uh, first of all, I go round and I go up again and I go do the curve okay so i'm just going to rub that off that's a p just so that you see how i did the pen all right you go down the same line you go up again and turn around that's your sound p. okay if you've done it like that give yourself a tick all right Now we're going to move on to the spelling part of our recorded session. I'll be telling you some words from the sounds that we've learnt today and I want you to write them down and then we'll check for correction at the end, okay? So, the first word, the first word, word, word that I want you to write down is sat. Now, in order to help you spell it correctly, I want you to sound it out. Use your left hand to sound it out. S -a -t. Sat. 
and write it down. Okay? The next word is pat. Okay? It's like earlier on, I said to you, pat. Pat yourself at the back to say, well done. Pat is, pat is when you, you know, pat someone or pat something. All right? Um, and so, pat, let's sound it out. Pat. Okay, I want you to write that down. Pat. The next word is taps. That's our last word. Taps. Now let's try and sound it out with our left hand. T -a -p -s. T -a -p -s. Taps. Yeah? Did you write that down? Okay, now let's go and look at what we, what we have written down. We, the first word was sat. If you've got an s, give yourself a tick. If you've got a a, give yourself a second tick. And a t, a third tick. Sat. Good. The next word was at. If you've got a p, give yourself a tick. If you've got a a. Give yourself a tick. And lastly, if you have a t at the end, give yourself a tick. And the third and last word was taps. taps. A tick for t, a tick for a, a tick for p, and a tick for s. Yeah? If at any point you feel like I'm going too fast, just pause it, yeah? So please self-correct, self-mark, check that you've got the spelling correctly, okay? So that's the end of the first book from the first set of sounds. And um, we will look at the second set of sounds now, which is book number two. Here we go. I'm going through two books or maybe three sometimes because these are all um, things that you've done in the past. All we're doing is we're recapping um, and we're just pronouncing them correctly. So if you're getting, uh, if you think, I hope you're not finding it too much basically uh, because it's simple stuff and we're just going through it quickly. Okay, so let me just find my sounds. Baja, you need to sit there nicely. Don't move about too much okay and here are my sounds okay so this is the second set of sounds that we'll be doing so i'll do my turn my turn your turn uh first let me just say them all together first so we've got e we have d t d we have n n and we have Mm. Okay, so now my turn, your turn. E. D. Okay. N. M. Sorry, M. Even teachers can make mistakes sometimes. It's not M, it's M. M. Thank you. So let's go through them very quickly. Speed sounds now. Very good. Very good. Let's look at the book now. And here's the book. It's going through the same sounds that we've just been through. N, mm. mm. d, okay, okay. So we have e, in, 
insect i insect insect is a type of bug basically okay and we've got some words there we have i it sit pit and tip we have uh, got a picture there what's happening in that picture where are these people <gasps> Oh, we've got Daddy there. He's lying on a bed. And what's wrong with his leg? Has he broken his leg? Yeah? Has Daddy broken his leg? Yes. <gasps> Badger, you think he's broken his leg? Where do you think that these people are? At the hospital. <gasps> Badger thinks these people are at the hospital. Do you agree with Badger? I agree too. I think they're at the hospital, yeah? There's Mummy and Chip and Biff and... What's Daddy lying on? He's lying on a pillow. He's lying on a pillow. <laughs> I just saw a message there. And... Um, what other words can you find in the picture? Yeah, you've got earrings. There's a sound e, and there's a. Is there a pin? Yes. Look, there's a p pin. And um, oh, look, they have got a gift for Daddy. Yeah, and Daddy's hanging his leg on a. Sling. This kind of thing that's tied to his leg to lift it up is called a sling. Now the next sound is n, n, net. Oh, look. The lady's got a very tall n nose. Can you see her nose? And um, amongst the crowd, there is a man, N man. And on top of the tree, can you see a, for the bird, what is it? N nest. That's right. Okay. Oh, the next sound is m, mm. m. Mm. What's happening in that picture? They are at the countryside. And he's cycling. And what's jumping? That's floating up in the air. And mummy, mum is not happy. Mum. And there's what's flying all over the air. Mm. Mm. Mud. That's right. Yeah. I'm swiftly going to move on to the next page. D, d, the last sound in this book. D. We have words such as d, dog. We have dip, yeah. And so, what's happening in this picture? Basically, they are the family is at the backyard. Oh, at their house, and what do you see? Oh, she has got what has she got in that plate? D drinks, that's right. And what's that? Window, it's got a d in the middle. And what's this thing? Is a d door, that's right. Okay. And uh, and you all can also see the d dog, okay? So the four sounds that we've learned in this book are i for insect, d dog, m man, and n net, okay? We're going to 
trace the sound now. That's get get your pen paper. Yeah, your books. Let's get your books out now. We need to trace these. Some of you might be thinking, oh, I'm too old for that. I just want you to go for it, please. Because through these sessions, we will swiftly be moving to advanced levels of phonics and reading. Yeah, but I just want to start from the very basic. Yeah, so just bear with me. Okay, so we're doing this for first sound we're doing is E. Starting at the very top, all the way down and flick. And we put the dot at the top. That's your E. Okay, write that down. And if you've written it like that, give yourself a tick. Let's rub it off and write our next sound. We're going for N now. You go, you you start with the last line part of it. We're going all oh, oh. Why is it wiggly? It's a wiggly line. We go all the way down. We go up again and flick. N. Mm. Okay. N. Mm. If you've done a N, mm, give yourself a tick. All right. We move on to the next sound now. And that's M. Mm. It's similar to the N, but it's got two wobbly bits and a flick. Okay, that's your M. Mm. If you've done a M, mm, give yourself a tick. All right, and we got. Let's move on to that to our last sound, and that's a D. D, D. We go all the way down. We go up a bit and round again. All right, and that's your d. All right, if you've done that, give yourself a tick. All right, well done, children. If you've done all the sounds, give yourself a pat on the back. Pat on the back means well done. All right, now we're going to be doing some writing with the sounds that we've just learned. All right, the first word I want you to write is d. Okay, I want you to sound it out first and then write it down. Dip, and that's d. E. P. D. E. P. Dip. Okay, if you've written that down, let's move on to the next sound. The next sound I want you to write is man. Man. Let's sound it out. M, m, a, n, man, m, a, n, man. Write down man. Okay, and the last sound I want you to write is got four. The last word has got four sounds. Pay attention. It's mint. I want you to write mint. These are all from the sounds that we've learned today. Mint. Now let's sound it out first. M, I, N, T, M, I, N, T, Mint. Mint. Now let's do some correction, self correcting. The first sound was. Dip. Okay. If you got a d, give yourself a tick. E, tick, and p, tick. That's dip. Well done. And the second word was man. Give yourself a tick for m. Give yourself a tick for a, and give yourself a tick for n. Man. And the last word was. Mint. Give yourself a tick for m.、Mm. Give yourself a tick for e, and a tick for n,、mm. and a tick for t. Mint. Mint is basically a type of herb. Yeah, that we use for cooking, for drinking tea, and、uh, yeah, it makes a very nice tea actually. And it's also used a lot in toothpaste for brushing your teeth. All right. 
so that's both of our books finished um, and both sets of our sounds finished we will now be moving to our story part uh, Badger did you enjoy the phonics yes okay we're going to move up to our story part of our session today our recorded session but before I go I want you to do more reading at home that's right lots of reading children yes Badger loves reading. Do you love reading? I do. Okay. Turn to your partner and say, I love reading. I love reading. Before, um, before we move to our, our, our story part, I want you to make a note of this. This is a website. I've basically created an account for you to log in to read stories online. I want you to go to o the Oxford Owl website. And I want you to go to Oxford Owl Class login oxford owl class login you can just type that in google and i want you to use this username and password okay username is harvest and password is reading yeah if you're struggling with this ask your mummy or daddy to help you okay so go to oxford owl reading uh oxford owl class login and use this username harvest and the password reading um and i want you to choose a book that is uh basically not too hard for you um i'll be sending you a list yeah um i'll i'll be telling you which which book a list from which books to read from okay to help you with your reading so that you're reading correctly and you're accelerating with your fluency but reading is essential we're reading we need to read every day okay and uh yeah let's now move on to our story part so for our story today i'll be reading you the lonely penguin by peter harrick the Lonely Penguin by Peter Harrop. The Lonely Penguin. Crunch! Crunch! Who is coming through the snow? It's Penguin. He's lonely. Crunch! Crunch! Penguin! Penguin's looking for his friends. He's looking for his friends. He can't think where they can't be. He's thinking, hmm, where are his friends? He's lonely. Crunch, crunch. Penguins running through the snow. Crunch. He's sliding on the frosty ice. Can you all slide on the frosty ice? Just pretend there's lots of frosty ice and go sliding. Whoosh. Frosty means very cold, okay? Crunch, crunch. Penguins looking everywhere. Can you all look? Look everywhere. Can you help penguin? Hmm? Turn to your partner and say, let's help penguin find his friends penguin climbs up the hill uh, oh it's hard let's cl go climbing up the hill climb 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 are his friends at the top of the hill what do you think should we find out oh wow no! Penguin looks down into the sea. Are his friends at the bottom? Penguin jumps into the air. Whoosh! And makes a big splash. Can you all pretend to be splashing in the water? Splash! Did he find his friends? Yeah! Penguin finds his friends swimming in Old water. Yeah? They all laugh and say, Where have you been? <laughs> Turn to your partner and laugh like penguins. 
Now he finally finds his friends. Now then, let's look at the story map. What happened first? First, Penguin was lonely. Then he started running, crunch, crunch, through the ice. And then sliding on the frosty snow. And then what was he doing with the hill? That's right, climbing, climbing to the top of the hill. And what did he do when he got to the top of the hill? He went, wee, jumping, right? He jumped, wee, and splash. That's right. And he found all his friends. Maybe you can go and draw a story map of the story. What happened first? What happened second? And if you want to watch to listen to the story again, you can just uh, rewind the video. Remember, this is a recorded video, okay? I hope you enjoy the story and uh, I'll see you soon again. Bye!